Welcome to Canis Lab. Today we're going to talk about recycling. There's too much contamination with plastics. In this case, we expanded polystyrene, or better known as styrofoam. What do we need to do? Yes, let's ban it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. I agree, we can't really do that. We need to learn the facts and then we can make informed decisions. For example, I'm buying a coffee. Which cup will I select? The paper cup or the styrofoam cup? Is this one really recyclable? If you look inside, it has a wax lining. If it were only paper, it will not be able to hold on to liquids, especially hot liquids. Okay, now I have my paper cup with a wax lining. To hold on to hot liquids, you have to add on a jacket, a cardboard jacket. Okay, now if we compare this one to this one, the paper one weighs six times more than the styrofoam cup. When it's time to get disposed, let's say that both of them are gonna end up in landfills with oxygen extravation, the truck that will carry this one is gonna weigh more than the one that will carry this one. Therefore, it's gonna use more gas. Paper or plastic? Quite confusing, right? Styrofoam is composed of 97% air and 3% of polystyrene. Air is the best insulation. Therefore, you don't need a cardboard jacket to hold on to hot liquids. You can pour the coffee in here and you're not gonna burn yourself. Styrofoam has a lot of advantages. It requires less electricity to be manufactured, there's less water used in the manufacturing process, it costs a lot less. Great advantages, right? But it has also a big disadvantage. Since it is very, very, very light, it easily flies away and ends up in a lot of places. You can recycle polystyrene. Look in the back and it has number six. But not many facilities want to take on the job of recycling styrofoam because you have 97% air. Basically, you're carrying air in the truck to recover only 3% of plastic. Therefore, we need people like you to invent new ways to recycle polystyrene. We use it every day. For example, in school cafeterias, there are styrofoam trays. There are millions of trays that come out every day. There are some schools that have a quieter oven and they collect all of these trays they put them in the oven overnight and then in the morning they collect 3% and then that block that they collect they can send it on to be recycled as 100% polystyrene. Can you think of any other method to recycle polystyrene? How about using some chemistry? There are some chemicals that dissolve styrofoam, for example acetone. There's also another one that comes from the orange pills. It's called limonene. It would be very attractive to develop a smart trash container that, for example, when you dispose of your plate, it will spray with some acetone or limonene and it will release the air right there. We try to put some acetone in this paper cup. It holds on to it beautifully. How about if we transfer this acetone to the styrofoam cup? Oops! Let's try some other cups. Wow, it disappears quickly. How about a nice chest? Let's do a happy face. Here we're gonna do a sad face. This is all we have left. Everything now reduced to 100% polystyrene. With the invention of the smart trash container, now we can enjoy a clean world. See you in the next video.